Hi, this is Dr. Doug Smeo from CDOX, and today's tip of the day video is on simple flap elevation and comparing chromic and cytoplast sutures. Now, the dentiform that we're going to use for the flap is the same one we use for CI2, so you get familiar with that. And so when we're doing that, again, scalpel, I've already done that right to the bone. You take that sharp end of the periosteal elevator or boozer, whatever you're going to use, and that goes right to the bone again because really what you're trying to do here is get started elevating that periosteum. Just sort of get it done and you're gonna just trace out your incision. When you're ready, you flip that over to the wider side and you sort of walk it. You see, I'll start from one end, I'll kind of turn it, turn it, turn it. And that's walking that up and down the incision line to lift that periosteum and you just go deeper and deeper. So now let's take a look at those sutures. And when we're looking first at the cytoplast suture, this is a 3.0 cytoplast suture, the same company that makes OsteoShield for DS. And you take this suture out, as you lay it down, you'll see it has no memory, it just lays flat. That's really perfect to, to place and also to suture. Chromic is a great suture too, but very, very different. So as you see, when I pull out the 3.0 Chromic out of the package, you see how it all binds up together. It's got a lot of memory. So you gotta stretch that out. So you hold one end in your left hand and just drag it through with some tension. And it usually takes two or three times to do that. And as you can see, it's already a little bit better. And usually, if again, a couple more times, you'll see it's even better now. And one more time, and it's ready to go. Because again, if it has memory, it's gonna loosen up. So for a scalp, for the flap elevation, right to the bone, trace the incision with your sharp end, walk the wider end to elevate that periosteal flap. And again, for the sutures, only chromic has the memory, so you have to stretch that out so that when you tie your knots, it doesn't come untied. But both of them can be kind of uh, frail at the end, so if you're not careful, they'll fray. Hope you like this video, and we'll see you at a CDOX course. Thanks.